Well, that is so nice to see you. Yeah, I know. Yeah. So, when, well, who are you? Tell us who you are. I'm Isaac. Nice. Yeah. Hi, Isaac. So, what year did you graduate, or how recently did you graduate from our student ministries? That last year. Yeah. Yeah, so last year. Yeah. I'm Isaac, and I graduated last year. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what do you do now? What do I do now? I work for a. Okay, I work for a cattle company. Yeah. So, yeah, so cattle farm. So you told me earlier what you did today, but I want us to talk about it a little bit. Tell me what you did today. What did I do today? I forgot. Come on, man. You were vaccinating cows. Oh, that was yesterday. Oh, that was yesterday. Yeah. What? T I want to hear about that a little bit. No, so we pretty much just get them in to get a group of animals into a tub, and we kind of close the gate. It's so like it's a like, big tub? It's not a tub. It's like a, it's called a tub. It's actually just a big, um, uh, what's his face? The, <laughs> I kind of think, it's just a big container. Okay. Oh, yeah. And then they go in, and there's a big gate that closes behind them. Yeah. It's really just a holding container. Yeah. And then, you know, there's a chute, and they go on down. You know, down around there, and yeah. then there's a head shoot, and you can catch them in there, mm -hmm. and you vaccinate them. You know, on each side to make sure they don't get like the cold or something. No, it's so like pink eye is something oh. they can get, so like their eyes can get bad. Right. Because of we want to talk about why you get pink eye. That's gross. It's because of flies. Yeah. Oh sure, flies. Yeah. <laughs> and then there's uh like you delight some, and then you make sure their ear tags are good and stuff, and then you send them back around. Or you make sure you know they're healthy and stuff. So you liking your job? Yeah, yeah. That's so awesome. So Isaac, tell me, how do you live out your faith on the farm? Can I call it a farm? Is that accurate? Yeah, it's a farm. Okay. How do you live out your faith as a Christian on the farm? On the farm? I don't know. Like, um, I mean, like, uh, I mean, the, I have a coworker that, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Um, yeah. We we talk sometimes, and uh, like uh, the other day we were talking about uh, you know some different stuff. And actually, there's did I tell you how it happened with um, <coughs> like how we got into the conversation? No, like tell me, stuff. tell me. So uh, he he was actually uh, um, that we we went to this like pretty jank Pizza Hut in Claypool. Uh -huh. It was pretty janky. Yeah. And uh, he's like. Uh, and we sit down, and then there's, like, one lady in there, and, like, uh, the randomest thing is on the TV. It's, like, some thing about capital punishment or something on the news. And so we start talking about, like, death and stuff, and you're like, so how, so where do you think, like, like, what do you think happens after you die? You asked stuff? him this? Yeah, so I asked him, like, how do you, where do you think, like, and then, yeah. you know, he starts talking, and really it was just a lot of questions that I asked him. Yeah. Just to, you know, talk to him and stuff, and, uh, he was like, hey, yeah, and he's like, so he's like, so what do you think? I'm like, well, I, I believe in Jesus and stuff, and like, he, like after death, I go to heaven, and uh, and so he's like, so like, <clears throat> what makes you think that uh, Christianity is the way to heaven, and like not like other religions? And so then he was like, and I was like, yeah, so um, like the only difference is with Christianity is is uh, it's by grace you're saved. All the other religions, you have to work for it. I'm like, unlike like you like I can't get to heaven because of the good works I did because I'm I'm a big sinner. And so, like, the yeah. whole conversation just, like, span off from there. and Yeah, and then we started talking about, like, angelology mm -hmm. a little bit, like, what he thinks about demons and, like, aliens and stuff. And so, <laughs> like, he, he believes in aliens. Like, maybe there's something. This is, like, apparently his ex-wife is, like, Navajo or something. Huh. Yeah. So, interesting. Yeah, really, really yeah. interesting. And, uh, yeah, that was a big conversation we had. So, did you go into uh, you, this coworker? did you go into this conversation like trying to just share the gospel or was it more you're just trying to be a friend to this coworker? Um mm, that's kind of a tough question because let me back up, let me ask the question a different way. Is it your goal to love your coworker well, or is it your goal to turn well, them into a Christian? It, it, it's the, the first one, I think. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so, second. like, um, it's really just, I mean, you're just trying to love love Jesus on them. Like, yeah. You, like, love Jesus and love your neighbor as yourself. And, like, you're trying to show Jesus through, like, 
when you work with them. And of course, you know, when you're working, you mess up. You may say a few words you're not supposed to. Sometimes and it happens. And you know, you're, but you know what? You're like, oh, man, that's okay. You know, like sometimes you messed up. I'm like, I'm the biggest sinner here. I'm like, I'm more yeah. sinner than you are. And he's like, no, you aren't. I'm like, yes, I am. <laughs> but yeah. who's to say? Yeah. Yeah. So how has like some of your own Bible study? And what you've learned here at church, how has that helped you have conversations like that? Or how has that helped you as you kind of like stepped out of high school and got into the real world? Huh. Well, I mean, like knowing your identity in Christ is a big thing. Because I remember like you talking, that's a kind of a deal back in high school. Um, remembering that, <laughs> yeah, like you... Like, your worth isn't found in other people or what they think of you. Because if, if you go out in the real world and you think, like, oh, other people, like, you put your, your worth in that, yeah. then you're not going to go anywhere with life because, I mean, you're just, you're spinning wheels and your worth is eight or whatever, how much you make an hour. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah, that's not a good place to be. No, no, it's not. So, what, so I want to ask you straight up, where is your worth? Like, where do you find your worth? In Jesus. Yeah, I mean, that's, like, the only thing. How do you do that? Like, how do I do it? Yeah, like, on a day-to-day basis. How do you do that? Like, like in the morning, like, I read my Bible. Yeah. Yeah, I made that, like, a big deal about reading my Bible every morning. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. And then, you know, like, to listen to some podcasts. Okay, and Some cool. other stuff. Yeah. yeah. Do you have a favorite Bible passage or a couple of verses that, like, you kind of are your go-to or, like, you kind of store in your head to bring out sometimes if you need, like, encouragement or to remember your identities in Christ or whatever? Yeah. Not really. Okay. Yeah. Honestly, I, I wake up every morning and, yeah. like, before I do anything, I just read my Bible. And then usually, I don't know, just, <laughs> that's just it. It's just my daily bread. Yeah. I love it. That's yeah. awesome. It's awesome. Yeah. Cool. I think you tricked me. I did. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Andrew. <Andrea. laughs> you're pretty awesome. Okay. I'm so glad you're willing to do this. Yeah. I was kind of scared at first. I know. But that's okay. Okay. Yeah, I could be nervous. Yeah. Anything else you want to share t- to our students that are in high school or middle school now? Any advice you have for them as a recent graduate now in the working world? No, I don't, I don't really know. Just what would you hard. tell yourself? What would you tell yourself if four years ago, what would you say to yourself? I would not say to myself. Yeah. I'd probably like slap myself in the face and like get get back to doing what you need to do. Which stop, is what? I don't know. Stop thinking about what other people think. Yeah. Think about what instead. I mean what I don't know. Just just don't worry. Don't fear man, just fear God, you know? Yeah. That's probably a big thing this thing I'd say. Because what can, what can man do, right? I mean, what's the worst that can happen? I mean, you know, yeah. I mean you're never going to see these people again. I mean, honestly, in high school, you're, you're not. I mean, you probably see them once in a, I don't know, when they come if, home If college. you go to a reunion. Yeah. Yeah. Or, yeah, I mean, reunion. <laughs> and not that we shouldn't be mean or, or cruel or rude or... No, no, yeah. ...dismiss people. Like, I'm not saying you should rob a bank. Right, obviously because, not. you know... That's not what God has called us no. to. <laughs> But, but, like, high school doesn't matter. I'm just saying that. In a lot of ways, it doesn't. No. But what an incredible opportunity that God has given us all to love people well around us, yeah. in our classrooms, our teachers, whatever part-time jobs that we have on our sporting teams, to not be afraid of what our peers or people around us think of us, but to live confidently because, like you said, Isaac... We know who God says we are, yeah. and that's what matters most. Yeah. Our identity is secure in Him mm-hmm. and who He says we are. Not what that person thinks about me, not whether I messed up on this test, not whether I made that kick right on miscellaneous sports team. It doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. It's who God says we are, and we can have confidence in that and not be afraid to have conversations where you are brave enough to ask the question, so what do you think happens when you die? Yeah. Where do you go when you die? Honestly, it's just a lot of questions. You just ask questions. And people just tend to say what they think. And it leads somewhere. And you listened. Yeah. And it's obvious you care about this coworker. Yeah, I do. I do a lot. Because I, I don't want him to go to hell. Absolutely. Yeah. That's awesome. Okay. Thank you, Isaac Lee. Appreciate it. There. You're awesome. Is that it? That is it. Okay. A couple see. announcements for you. We've got momentum coming up. 
in July. You can sign up for Momentum on the Planning Center app or the Church Center app. Love to have all you guys go to that. So do that. And also next week, we will not be having Epic Families. We're wrapping up the school year. We'll all be meeting at the Hub, having a big old family reunion to wrap up the year before we kick off the summer. See you guys there.